so great. Tensions were high at the Justin Bieber Memorial Amphitheater last night as Tom Cruise and electronic dialer 501C squared off for the latest presidential debate. The president accused the former robocall device of lying to voters for decades, calling him a cold and calculating machine. Ed 501C responded simply that it takes one to know one. Later he had this to say. I am not here to comment on rumors or speculation about the president's personal life. I am here to discuss the issues. It is not relevant to this election whether or not Tom Cruise has a harem of farm animals trained to walk on their hind legs and satisfy his carnal appetites. Knowing that will not put people back to work. To hear more about trained farm animals, press 1 now. Unusually strong words from candidate Ed 501C, especially when you consider the question was about tax reform. You watching me, watching you, watching We believe Americans seek information, truth, and empowerment. If an abortion could be considered, what about in the case of rape? That's really rare. If it's a legitimate rape, uh, the female body has ways to try to shut that whole thing down. And all that stuff I was taught about evolution and embryology and Big Bang Theory, all that is lies. Straight from the pit of hell. Plants just love CO2. If they had a chance to vote on whether we should limit CO2 or not, they would vote no, because CO2 is food for them. Economics, education, it's all to the wayside. If we don't get Jesus and God back in this country, we can just all say goodbye. Ed 501C appeared at the NAACP conference today, speaking to a large and enthusiastic crowd of supporters. I have been personally affected by racial bigotry, especially after I met Sue 736B, the appliance I would one day marry. In those days not everyone in my small town could accept that a well-bred young robocall system could fall in love with a black KitchenAid blender. They put a glorified tape recorder up against the president? Okay, fine, a tape recorder with a Harvard Law degree. Well, I hear that he wasn't even built in this country. The point is that the people love President Cruz. Nothing is gonna change their minds. Not the razor wire, not the implanted GPS chips, and certainly not the justifiable shooting of one so-called journalist who is best known for never making a new pot of coffee when he finished the old one. Supporters are also quick to point out that Mission Impossible 4 was highly underrated and does look great on Blu-ray. Okay, we might have one or two new wars. We might have a triple dip recession. And maybe, just maybe, the government spends more on drone warfare and secret prisons than it does on healthcare, education, and clean drinking water combined. But, mark my words, nothing, nothing will ever stand between the North American people and their love for President Tom Cruise. Excuse me. Good God. I, I'm now being informed that the First Lady, Mimi Rogers, the President's wife of 25 years, has filed for divorce, citing irreconcilable differences stemming from his lack of enthusiasm for the teachings of Scientology. Okay, we're ready to call it. The time is now 11.46 p.m., the day before the election, and Propagator News now projects Ed 501C the inevitable winner in all 13 districts, and thus it appears, the winner of the presidency of the North American Union. A tough break for President Cruz, who unwittingly violated the one unbreakable rule of North American politics. Anyone aspiring to sit in the White House must pick a spouse and stick with it. Happy! Congratulations to Mr. Electronic Dialer Mark 501 Compact Edition, who on this historic day, tomorrow will have become our continent's first openly mechanical president. Uh, since Ronald Reagan, anyway. Kill all humans, I mean, Thank you for this great honor. Now please visit Indiegogo.com to make a small contribution to my re-election campaign fund. Oh.